Hi, welcome to the fifth installment of Data Structures in 5 Minutes. And today I'll be focusing my attention on binary heaps and working through some examples to help you visualize how these algorithms work. <coughs> but <coughs> first, let's review what, we're, um, what the big picture is. So we're trying to implement a priority queue using the priority queue ADT using a heap. And the heap has the heap order property where, for example, if you have the min, the parent must be smaller than its children. Or if the max is prioritized, then the parent must be larger than its children. It should make sense intuitively once you see what's going on with a binary heap. And so the additional property for binary heaps is that it's a complete binary tree. So each level should be filled up <coughs> before you add a new layer. And you can have dangling stuff at the very bottom where you have your new layer. And one interesting consequence of this property is that you can represent the binary heap as an array. And so, um, and not only that, the, ar the array has special indexing properties. So if you <coughs> let the zeroth index be null and fill in everything else, then for any index i, your parent is at i floor 2, and your children are at 2i and 2i plus 1. So for example, if I'm at 5, 5 is index 2, uh, its parent is 3, and it's at 2 floor 2, which is 1, and its children are at 2i, which is 4, and um, <coughs> 2i plus 1, which is index 5, and that's 6 over here. And so before I move on to the algorithms, there's one more thing I have to clear up. It's you either up heap an entry, down heap an entry, or in general, it's called bubbling. <coughs> an entry up and down the binary heap. So basically all you do is that the algorithm will call you to compare an entry with the parent's key if you're moving that entry up, compare with the children's key if you're moving that entry down, and you're trying to see if it's lesser and <coughs> if if your entry is lesser, you want to do the swap and then repeat the process until either you reach the end or you satisfy the heap order property, in which case you don't have to do anything else. So without further ado, let's move on to the algorithms. Insert. Um, first, you place the new entry at the very um, next free, uh, free slot in the complete binary tree, which is near the bottom left. And you bubble up until you get the heap order property satisfied. So you're adding and you're moving it up. For remove, you remove the entry, you stick the last entry. Again, remember that this is a complete binary tree. Stick it to the empty spot and bubble that entry down. So, <coughs> so instead of moving up, like insert, you're moving down for remove. And, and bottom up, you're reconstructing a heap out of uh, an array or probably a list of random elements. And so first, you have to start from the first non-leaf node and work your way up um, through each node after that. And you want to bubble each um, node that you see down, so very much like remove. <coughs> and so to make this more clear, I'll show you how to do this with this uh, tree that I already created and the array representation for it. The array representation will be more concise. So you want to start um, by making this a heap, and you want to search for the non, uh, first non-leaf node, which is the 6. You want to bubble down the 6, and you see that three, uh, 6 is greater than 3, so you need to swap them. So there, that's 3 and 6. You're done. Now we go to 8. 8 needs to swap with 4, so <coughs> let's do that. Now you have 5, and you have to compare <coughs> 5 between 3 and 2. 2 is lesser, so you want to make 2 on top. Because if you make 3 on top, then you have the complication between 3 and 2. So let me do that. And finally, you're at 12. 12, uh, you want to pick the lesser again, 2. So 2 swaps with 12. Then you see that you want to um, swap 12 with 3 as well. So we do that. And finally, you look back here. 12 is um, greater than 6, so you have to swap 6 out. And not 7, because 7 is greater than 6. And so um, you get this new array where you have 2, 3, 4, 
Um, <coughs> sorry, this should be 6. 6, 5, 8, 9, 12, and 7. And you use level ordering to reconstruct it. So you have 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, 8, 9, 12, 7. And there's your uh, new binary heap. And now, <coughs> what's next is say you wanted to add a 1. So you put the 1 in the next free spot of the complete binary tree, and you bubble it up. So you see that it swaps with the 5 and the 3 and the 2. And you'll eventually get this if you work it out to be 1, 2, 4. This part doesn't change. Uh, this part does change a little bit. You have 6 and 3, and you have... 5 here, and this is 12, 7. And you see that the heap order property is still satisfied. And finally, running a bit over, but I'll fit this in really quick. Say we wanted to remove the 2 from here. So we remove the 2, and we put the 5 in the spot, and we want to bubble down the 5. Well, the only thing that's left for us to do is to <coughs> swap this 5 with the 3, and so your result is this thing here. Um, and that's it. We did a bottom-up, we inserted an item, and we removed an item. And so that should be um, a sufficient example for you guys. And yep, yeah, see you guys next time.